All right, so new Labyrinth stage has finally dropped. It took a long time for them to drop a new one. And it's sort of, I guess, shield hero themed. We are going a semi-blind run here because um, I did play Labyrinth like the first like three or four stages for Kizuna's showcase. But I have not like gone through and attempted the last boss yet or anything. Uh, Speedy did. If you don't know my situation with me and Speedy, uh, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Watch the video about my account and stuff, but um, let's see. Let's see how this goes. They they said that they would work on it, make it better, and for what I've heard, it's much much easier than the previous labyrinth. I didn't find the previous labyrinth hard to the point where I needed it needed to be easier, but for casual players, I think it's fine. Like if you knew what you were doing, you beat Labyrinth without Summer Merlin or whatever. Like, I beat on my free-to-play uh, without her. But, you know, for people that don't want to spend more than, like, an hour playing the game, I guess it's fine. Um, but this character, right? So, <laughs> this character, this Kizuna character, is the free unit given by the collab. And as you saw, off the bat, you can just pick her. And for what I've heard, she's incredibly, incredibly powerful for this stage. She looks to be a very good unit in general. So, I hope that she does, in fact, help. Oh boy, we're playing JP, so... Um, increase crit chance by 20%. Ooh, this increases defense by 5. Hmm. <laughs> we don't have a defense-based unit yet. Maybe we... Can we get now for me? I wonder. Um... Okay, what path do I want to take here? I think I'm going to go with level. Uh, I... Green Askner. That's the character I saw last time as well. It's not a great unit to start off. That selection of characters is pretty eh. I don't know if I like it. Do I want to go for a passive or do I want to go for a level? I think I might go for level. I only say that because I have no utility. Like, both of these characters have no lifesteal, and... No, but this stage is gonna be easy, though. I'm gonna go for a passive. I am greedy. I am greedy. I like passives. I am very greedy. That might cost me the run, but I'm greedy. Levels are huge, though, especially, um... Because in the beginning, your characters are so much weaker, right? So levels are, are huge, but... I'm greedy, so I want you to kill the. Make sure that the right guy dies here, because he had two attack cards. Although I don't think they're gonna even do damage to me. Let's see. They might just patience. Okay. I saved like a thousand health. That's fine. Kill. It's a Pierce card. Okay. The crit. The crit chance is good. I think Kizuna had sixty percent crit chance. Now she has eighty. So. I think for the later stages, if we can get some crits, that'd be nice. Ooh, big choices, big choices. Um, for each ally lowers um, attack of enemies by 4%, I think I'll take this one. This is like... What is this? <laughs> I actually don't know. Um, if you use Pierce, you will heal 50%. Ooh, that's tempting, but I think I'm going to go for the attack lower. Um, because I think it would be in general better for my all my characters than just one character in specific. But that Pierce one is interesting, though. I've never seen that. Th there's new passives, I think. I I don't recall because a lot of the passives I just kind of ignored last time, and maybe that was one of those. But I, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can kill him. No, I don't think we are. That would show Pierce though. No, I, I should have put Kizun on the right. If I had two Pierce cards, it would be much better than a level two Pierce, but it's fine. Uh, what do we do here? I think we buff in Pierce. I think that will at least kill Hauser. I mean, Hauser's not the problem anymore. No, 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 I'm gonna do this. Make sure he dies, because he's the only one attacking. Yeah, her Pierce card is really good for the early levels. Really, really good. I'm clearing this fast enough that if I have to restart, it's not a big of a deal yet. She has 80% crit chance right now, so that's pretty good. 
I'm clearing this fast enough that if I if I mess up like towards the end, doing the first few stages is not as bad. Because I feel like one big problem with Labyrinth, and you may not agree, but I think the probably the worst thing was the restarting took so long because the early stages were very slow, especially the first stage. The enemies have way too much health for how uh, weak your characters are. A broken number three, I think. Um, Shiro... <laughs> Rising of the Shield Hero characters. Critical resistance increased by 39%. Interesting. If all allies same attribute increases, basic stats by t uh, 10. Damage with cutting effects by 120. I forgot what cutting is. I think it's cleave. Ah, uh, this is interesting, Rising the Shield Hero, but can I get now for me and Raftalia? That's the question, I don't know. This is my first run, so I would not know. I think I will get this... I don't like the same attribute. I will get this. If they're putting this, I think they will allow me to get the other characters, because it would make no sense for me to um, have that passive available and only be able to use her. Right? That, that would make no sense, so... I only say that because I feel like a lot of characters weren't available on the other Labyrinth. Or if they were, they were only on the shop and very hard to get. I forgot to... Oh, I couldn't change, actually. I couldn't change. Um, let's make sure that the, the right guy dies. Maybe I should be buffing after attacking? I don't know. Again, this is my first run. So I... Um, I don't know how I should be playing with Kizuna, if I should be buffing right after attacking to make sure that uh, I have more HP and defense. Yeah, because like right, she took a lot of damage, she has no life steal. She has no life steal at all. That's very problematic. That's, let's make sure he dies. I'm not going to buff because I am hoping Askenor can kill one of the other guys. If he can kill, that will be huge. So we don't take as much damage because with a team like th this is why I don't like I, I don't I don't like this because we have two characters with no life steal, which is very very bad for my free to play account last season. Oh, he has it. <laughs> he can't be buffed with an ultimate dumbass. <laughs> I, almost, I almost just buffed Askanor with full ultimate gauge. Um, last season I did Green Bond and Red Askanor, two characters that could self heal. It was really, really good. Having two characters I could self-heal. I think that was the biggest thing. <sighs> Red Slater, Red Merlin. I suppose Red Slater. Let's go and lower their crit resistance even more. I guess Red Slater. And then we uh, move Askenor to the left. Yeah. And we have to go left here. I think I might lose this after we start. I think I might lose this. It's just lack of healing. Should I heal? No, I didn't, that heal wouldn't be enough. Like, I didn't take as much damage to make that heal worth it. Yeah, I don't like my situation here. Uh, I think I am gonna attack and buff. So that we can be a little more tanky. Should I have attack lowered, actually? Mm. Ooh, our damage is not good anymore. Yeah, I think I need to go for levels. That passive that I got was not worth losing the 10 levels. Because, like, at this point, I'll have, like, level, like, 33 or something. I'll be so much stronger. My characters would be so much tankier if they were at a level like that. Um, could I kill one of them? Let's see. If I survive this, I think I can win. If I survive with all three characters, I think I can win. If not, I have to restart. Yeah, Askan is dead. Lack of self-healing. That's that's the worst. Lack of self healing And utility. We we had no red Galfer in the beginning. Did they remove red Galfer? They could have. Honestly, her, her damage is not good enough. I need, the, I need the levels for her. If I'm gonna go, I need the levels instead. So one thing that I've realized is that the character picks this time around are really terrible. 
really terrible. My best pick on the first character, or I guess the second, the first one was her, but was Elioni. And now my best pick is like Twigo. The character picks this season are terrible in the beginning. Like, look, <laughs> look at this. This is awful. I mean, Tarmiel is not going to help. I have to restart. Like, the, the character picks are really, really bad. All right, we're back. Uh, and as I was just talking about how bad the picks are, I'm pulling up with uh, Red Fat King and Dogito. But it's actually because Red Fat King, I, I did pick him because it was the best character I, w I had available. He actually is very good. He has a healing card. Um, okay. I was hoping to get HP for red, but this is for uh, green and blue, and this is for red. Attack for red, it's fine. Um, and then my first passive I got was... Mm, if you use a mono team, like all same color, you actually... Um, let's reroll once. You get 30% basic stats. Philo! <gasps> but I have no debuffs. Um... I think I'm gonna pick Helbrum and then swap Dogito out. Yeah, I think it's gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's better. Um, yeah, the picks are very questionable. I think there's just a lot of characters to pick from. There's like way too many, maybe. Ooh, a passive. Let's see what passives they have. They have the revive. Uh, reco disable enemy recovery skill. Uh, I think I'm gonna level up. Where is level? Five levels? Or one awakening? What? Can I buy more than one thing? Because I remember you can only buy one thing. Okay, where are the characters? Yikes. <laughs> okay. Um, damn, this shop sucks. Five levels? It used to be ten. Okay. Or one awakening. I don't have a single awakening because... The awakening... For Kizuna, they didn't give her lifesteal. It just didn't give her anything. It was pretty bad. So I didn't go with it. Maybe I should have, because now I have like no awakening at all. But like, one awakening or five levels? Really? Did they have to nerf that? Did they have to make the shop worse? <laughs> the shop was was pretty good, actually. Oh, I hope, bro, I really hope the last boss is not blue. Because I am planning on actually going with this. Oh, the Zabel recovery skills would have been good here, huh? Okay, I see. <laughs> I see, she recovers. Uh, this might be a slow fight. If we can... If we can petrify her, that would be nice. Okay. Oh, she barely does damage. Oh, she ult rushes, doesn't she? Okay, I think Hellborn's gonna be good here, though, because we have takeoff ultimate gauge. So... Um... Yeah, Hellbrum. And then we're gonna attack here. Hopefully we can get another Kizuna card. If I can push a Kizuna ultimate, I can just kill her. Because Kizuna's ultimate is a damage increase. I can damage increase and then pop off with the other characters. Okay. We double attack with Kizuna, then attack with Helbrum. This boss is a joke, all right. Compare, I mean, the, the Meliodas from the other wasn't like hard, but he could be tricky, right? I think this boss is just a joke. Maybe she, maybe the ultimate is very strong. Does she full heal? Maybe the ultimate is very strong. Or maybe she full heals if you drop her under 50 without killing her. Is that what it is? I have no idea. It's just a very long fight, which kind of sucks. Um, oh no, I, I don't read. I can't read. Okay. King gets his ultimate next turn. Let me take off the ultimate gauge again. Ooh. I wish we had actually killed here. If I had double attacked, I would have killed. Halberd, maybe? No, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna full heal with King next turn. We're gonna go into the next map fully healed. And if he... <laughs> I swear to God. If you know... The, 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 the last boss is blue, and you're laughing that I'm using a mono red team, I'll be very sad. <laughs> I really hope the next boss is blue. Uh, as I recall, 
the order of bosses was green, blue, and red. So I hope it's the same. Because I kind of want to keep using Kizuna unless I get now for me. If I get now for me, I'll, I'll swap to Mono Blue. I'll have a. I'll have a change of heart. Although I really want to use her. So my team sucks. What, what are these characters, man? I'm using Fat King, which he's actually being pretty good. The healing's pretty good. But I'm using Helbrum and Dogito? That's not nice. That's not good. Uh, okay, I wonder how hard these characters are going to be hitting us. Because I'm not going for the Petrify here. I'm just going to go for the rank up and stat boost. I forgot what King's card does. Uh, King. Like his attack card. I just fail. Okay, well. They're hitting a little harder than I wish they did. That's for sure. We're gonna heal. We're not gonna go for the Petrify, we're gonna go for this. A little cocky, but I'm gonna go for the level 3 Pierce. The heal is pretty good, see? With, like, decently high attack, the heal is very strong. You know what I think? I think... Of course, the, this one survives. It's fun. I think the passive that you can get of... Uh, oh my god, that's... That's a lot. Making Pierce cards do uh, make you heal more, I think might be one of the best passives. If you're gonna run Kizuna. So you can heal with her Pierce card. I should have taken that. I took... I don't know what I took instead. I, I, I think I had the option this run and I didn't take it. I should have taken it. Yeah. I was expecting that because I have Fat King, I wouldn't need it, but... Oh, finally. Okay. Um, the Google Translate is not working. Nice. It, it, it's not working. Great, give it a second. Okay. Okay, increases Pierce of should, should hero characters by 59%. I'm taking this. This is uh, if all characters with different attributes get ultimate gauge. Very sad. And shield hero crit damage increased by 231%. Holy shit. <laughs> 231? That's nuts. Um, okay, ult level. I'm going to be 6-6, six, six. what? I'm already 4-6, so fast. Oh, Reftalia. Okay, I'm taking off Dogido, I'm putting on Reftalia. And... I'm hoping I get Nalfami here, maybe? No, okay. Awakening. Maybe I should have healed. But... Do I want to level up or awaken? It's just I don't know if that's a plus 5 or a plus 10. If it's a plus 5 and this is a plus 2, then I don't know. I, I don't think they would make it like that. I don't think they'll make it like that. I think I'm going to go for the level up. Level ups are usually better. Because you can just tank better for the most part. Okay, I got the Pierce thing. How much harder am I going to hit? Um... I'm gonna heal right off the bat, and then do this. No, I should have healed after blue carding. I'm stupid. He would have healed more, because then his attack would be increased. It's okay. They all go for her. Every time. They all go for her every time. Please kill. Okay, I think we kill here. She is very good. She is very good for this. I, I just wish I actually had picked the passive that makes her heal with the Pierce. If you see the passive that makes Pierce cards heal, pick that one. Honestly, made a mistake by not picking. Oh. Sigurd or Levels? I think Levels. I think Levels. I think Levels. That Sigurd was tempting. I was thinking of taking Sigurd over Helbrum. But... 
Because he has the Amplify card as well, right? I think levels will be better down the line. We'll, we'll see if I made a mistake. We'll, we'll figure it out if we made a mistake or not. So first, we're going to do this and then heal this time. We'll find out if I made a mistake or not later. Oh, I could have double attacked. Holy shit, I did so much more damage this time. I guess they have less health. Or no, my, my level is higher. <laughs> Yeah, the Pierce card not healing. Bro, if the Pierce card healed... If I had lifesteal, but if the Pierce card healed, I would be in such a better position. Uh, we're gonna AoE and then we're gonna go for the Petrify here. Yeah, the, the Pierce increase plus leveling up made her hit much harder. The Pierce card crazy with that passive, though. The Pierce passive, I think... If you don't get the Pierce passive, it's very unfortunate. Um... I'm gonna go for the heal. I'm gonna go for the heal. I was gonna go for the ult level, but I'm already 4-6. Um, this I know what the enemies are. Let's see. Is it mono blue? No, it's mono red. We're gonna go for this. I don't know if the passives differ. If Because the, the other path was like a random an, a enemy team I was gonna face, so I, like we don't know what it was, what attributes. Um... It seemed like I healed more like this, but it's fine. We're gonna do this. Um, yeah, good damage. Please give me a Pierce card again, that'd be great. And then this, we already know, it's a mono red, so like, there's no, no chance of this being like a mono blue enemy team, right? But I don't know if the passive on the other one's better because it's random, right? Because we don't have uh, the foresight. I wouldn't know. Okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna level 3 with her, and then we're gonna make sure this guy dies. Or I could have AoE with King, I think with, with the level 3 boost, King would finish it up. Yeah, he would have easily finished it up. Wow, made a mistake. It's fine. We're good, we're good. King would have easily finished up there. Okay, maybe we can get a heal card here. Healing card? No? Okay, well. That's fine, we barely took damage. Uh, I don't have any life steal anyways, but I might as well ult. <laughs> Why not, right? I don't have any healing cards. Any I don't have any life steal anyways, but might as well. Okay, hey, King has been huge as well. I really want to replace Helbrum. Oh boy, what is this? Um, giants base stats twenty. Human base stat ten decreases. Or deal, deal increased damage dealt 10% each special move. This is good with the old passive, but I don't have it. Uh, uh, I think I'm getting basic stats for humans. No, no. Damage dealt. Damage dealt. I get it right here. Where's passives? It's definitely not that. <laughs> There's definitely none. Damage with ults 50. Crit uh, chance increased by 150 and max ultimate gauge. And then when you die, you f you revive with 5% HP. That's a really interesting one. What are my options for characters? Lamau. Um, or do I get a free passive? Do I pay for one or do I get a free one? The free one, I don't know what it is. And the paid one, I know I have a revive, which can be useful. Or I get levels. I could get levels or I could get awakening. I'm thinking of getting awakening. And my awakening is so low. I think I'm going to go for awakening. It's, it's tough because each decision can come back and bite you in the ass. But I think... Awakening might be my best bet. I have less CC than the boss. It's over. After you start. Is he blue? Glocks. Oh damn, that passive to seal recovery skills is actually nuts if he if he also has a recovery skill. Okay, he's sealed. Okay. It's green glocks. Like it, it's like green green glocks, like he likes his passive as well. No, he attacks seals. 
can cleanse us. She can't cleanse if she's already sealed. He doesn't cleanse either. Damn. Of course they're focusing her. I'm gonna make her boost herself. Okay, you get ignited. When you attack him. Alright. This should be a single target, yeah. Okay. Does he attack you again? No way. Oh my god, man. It's so stupid. Okay, let's not attack lower uh, king. And go for his ultimate. This is not as dumb of a boss as Drill, though. Drill would have already killed me. If I was facing Dro right now, the last boss, I would have already died by just going second. So, that's good. Let's ult, then heal. Or do I double heal? What's better? Does he increase the multiplier on level 2 or is it just the same? Uh, it does increase. I'm gonna go for the level 2. I will be attack lowered. So the heal is not going to be as strong, but I haven't even been able to attack with Kizuna because she's been attack sealed the whole time. That sucks. Like, or Helbrum. Helbrum has not been able to contribute either with like his uh, takeoff ultimate gauge. Because he attack seals every turn! Every turn! You need to ult rush. So like you need units to be 6 6 then, right? Or at least a high ult level for you to be able to win. I'm gonna do this actually. And hope Kizuna doesn't die. So I can kill with the King Ultimate. No no! He has fail! Oh my god. I can't I couldn't read his card while just moving it around. If I knew I would have actually attacked with Helbrum. For a little bit more damage, it's fine. I don't know what Red Fat King does. <laughs> um, he didn't actually... Okay. He didn't attack to me this time. Do I attack with Kizuna? Yeah, I'm gonna attack with Kizuna. Boost. And then ult. This should kill. I was thinking attack with Kizuna or Helbrum. I think, unless he has a revive, which he might. If he has a revive, I guess I lost. But if, if, if unless he has a revive, we kill. Oh my god, the attack seals, man. Uh, this means the last boss is blue. I need to swap. I cannot go with mono red anymore. I need to swap to a mono blue team. Please give me now for me. And then we can actually pop off here. Now for me, yes. Go by Helbrum. Okay. We're gonna swap this. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. 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 And then alt level because no one's dead. Kind of a shit choice, I guess. But I kind of wish I could like. I don't know. Um. Hmm. What's the elements? Blue and green. Okay. And then we, we, we have to heal afterwards. I think that's fine. I don't want I don't want ult levels anyways. I don't want ult levels anyways. It's kinda of pointless for me. I'm already 5'6. Now that I have the taunt, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So we're gonna taunt. Do this. Ooh, kind of wish now that I had the uh, crit damage one for the raccoon girl, but we should be okay. Boom. I didn't... Okay. Didn't get a uh, shield here, but that's fine. We're gonna do this, actually. This should wipe. 
I cannot imagine this not wiping. She's oh I, I wanna swap her for a blue unit, but man, she's really good. The Pierce card, the blue card, she's really good for this. But I have the goddamn same attribute shit, which kind of sucks. Uh, what, what what are my options here? Critical hit chance reduces their absorption rate. I need crit chance. Okay, let's heal up. It's getting pretty intense. Man, I kind of don't want to swap her. Uh, no character available? Okay. Level up. Ooh, how many levels is this? 10. Or I can buy a 15. I have 110. I can buy 15 levels or 3 Awakening. Oh, 3 Awakening is juicy. Juicy. What am I getting next? I, I can get another Awakening here, though. I think I'm in 15 levels. 15 levels is so much. So much. And then, um... Okay. This is random, so it can actually be a battle instead. We're gonna go right here. I'm not even gonna check what they have, I'm just gonna go right. Okay, I, I can see this is this is kind of like themed um for blue hero. So increased damage. Or not blue hero, uh <laughs> shield hero. Okay. I think making it, I think the best thing you can get, so if, if you do end up picking her in the beginning, which I actually do recommend, if you can get the passive that is, uh, you get basic stats if all of your characters are different attributes, I, I think that one's always the best. Different attribute passive is so good. I reapply this. Because then you can actually be varied for the last boss. Using all same attribute can be really bad, especially, I mean, for me, especially because I didn't know what the element of last boss was. But it can be really bad. Okay, pulling up the phone again. My phone is almost dying. I... <laughs> um, damage with lifesteal effects by 150. Reduces damage taken from skills by 50%. Oh, yes. 50%? Two stars, okay. Now I'm fully awakened on my characters. I need to do this if I want to get a new character, which I definitely do. I, I want to replace that king for someone that maybe has a useful passive in the back. Or potentially Kizuna for a blue unit, but... I don't know what blue unit would actually make it worth the 30% stats, like actually. Um, I don't know. What unit that would be. Bro, I'm so tanky now. I have the taunt. And I have... I have the... The 50% damage reduction. Okay. Let's let... Um, do I AoE if not for me? I think I'm gonna let her take care of the job here. Or... Mm, he has three stacks. I think we wipe. I'm sorry, Raccoon. But I think we wipe here with him. Maybe I'm wrong. I think I was wrong, actually. Okay. Without the shield... Oh, then... So close. Without the shield, he is much much weaker. The shield, I mean the stance. I think, I think it's... Uh, I think it's clear what I mean, right? Hmm. Honestly, this labyrinth is much easier. J not because I'm using the new shield hero characters, which might be helping. And not because, I mean, the, actually, I was gonna say not because the first pick, but the first pick being that free character does actually help. Um, what is this? Uh, increases base stats of unknown, fairy, or... Goddess? Bro, 
Where are these? <laughs> I'll go for unknown, so at least um, she gets something. Bruh. Yeah, I want the opportunity to get a new character. How many levels is this? 10. That'll be level 89. You know what? Nah. It could be a bad character. I'm gonna play safe. Because I could just get a bad character. And if I get a bad character and I, I waste the levels, I might just lose. I might just straight up lose. Okay, I'm just gonna play defensively, same way. Uh, I need to uh, shield up first so I can do increased damage. Kinda wish I could buff or maybe I should be actually buffing now for me first before attacking, so I would buff his defense and he would buff my attack. But it's fine. Ooh, that hurt. Does now for me have life steal? That would be great right now. He does. Let's do this, this, and this is the. How much Christians do I have right now? Did I pick Christian stuff? 63. I should go with the Christian's card on the blue one to make sure that he's dead. So let's do this. Oh, he's not gonna die actually, okay. This is a much more difficult stage. The enemies are much stronger. Like, especially thinking about um, the fact that I am using 50% damage reduction with him being so tanky already as well. We're taking a lot of damage. Um, I'm gonna do this so I can actually level 3. Kizuna only ranks up on attack cards, so I actually need to double attack, should then level 3 with the blue card. But her damage is nuts! Oh my god. I have the Pierce buff. If I had the, the crit damage buff and the crit chance buff for uh, the shield hero characters, she would be in a much better position damage-wise, but... Yeah, he's in the... Pops off. She really does. Um, do this. And then make sure that we're done here. Hopefully we heal enough with this ultimate. Or... For a second I thought he was ulting. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, that's fine. He took a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Um, awakening the levels. Yep. And we're level 100 now. That's perfect. Can I get a new character? For 100 bucks. Margaret. Instead of her. And I'll get the stats. That's tempting. What else can I get here from this shop? I can get more Awakening. I could get... Yeah, Awakening or Margaret. What do I prefer? That's tough. That's tough. Oh, damn it. I think I'm leaning towards Awakening. I'm leaning towards Awakening, but I would get a 30% defense. I'm I'm going with my instincts and I'm picking Margaret. Ah, this is tough. If I lose now, I'll be I'll feel like an idiot. No, I should have picked Awakening! I don't have enough CC. Are you kidding me? My characters are fully level 100. I lost. Are you Mon Speed? Okay. My characters are fully level 100. He's oh he's he's red. Wait. Am I tripping? No. Why do I think the last boss would be blue? God damn it. Okay. He needs to life steal here. Like good. I I'm I could have cleansed next turn if Margaret because it's gonna ignite me. Assuming this is regular Mosspeed ultimate. But I want a damage reduction. 
on top of the damage reduction that we already have. Margaret, I want. I want. I want now for me cards. Margaret! Oh my god. He removes stances. Okay, now for me is bad for the last fight. Nice. <laughs> now for me is bad for the last fight. Great. No. We only get ultimate gauge by moving the cards. I don't heal enough. To be worth. Because I think Margaret's dead regardless. You remove stances? That was... I did not see that coming. Because you would assume they want you to use the... The characters, right? Did not see that coming. Um, do we kill here? Oh, he doesn't have a revive! Like, the, I assumed he did because of the Meliodas at the end. Um, of the last one did. Oh, yeah. They significantly lowered the difficulty of the bosses. Okay. Mm. Alright. I don't know what characters are the best for this, but can we get a, my last Philo? I don't know what, the, what characters are best for this. Thing. I would assume the shield hero characters are just the best. But given that he does remove stances, is a question now. Um, if you can make a mono blue team for that, that's good though, because that would just really help. Margaret is great, always. So The one, maybe? Pretty good. That's it. That was Labyrinth. It is easier, but not necessarily that much easier. <laughs>